everyone and good morning from Miami. Uh, today we're going to take you on board and going to check out a service for a passerelle unit and a hydraulic swim platform. Just changing the oil and um, we're also going to take a look at troubleshooting a Glendening unit that the uh, shore power cable is uh, intermittently going in and out and it just stops. Uh, so we're going to walk you through the troubleshoot on that. So let's uh, go on board and check it out. So our issue here is basically where the retraction and extend is. Uh, notice down here you got your rollers and these actually have little micro switches on them. And these micro switches are wired up in parallel. So anytime both switches are engaged, basically indicating that the coil uh, cable is bound up. We have the two micro switches removed here. Uh, normal, they're wired and normally closed. And one of ours was uh, basically open all the time. So anytime the other one was triggered, then it would uh, stop the Glendening from working. So you see here with a simple resistance check, we have the switch wired and normally closed. It's closed, I hit it, it opens. Functions properly. And here this one, you'll see there's a break in the switch. No matter if I uh, cycle it, it still shows that it's open, so the normally closed contact, um, there's something wrong with that internally. And what we mean here by wired in parallel, meaning if one of the switches is triggered, uh, it's not going to cause it to stop, but if both of them are triggered, the basically continuity is going to be blocked and opened, and it's going to cause the uh, unit to shut off and stop feeding the cable. And so these two limit switches here are going to create an interlock when the cable is running out and if both of them get triggered since the circuit is in parallel that will cause the uh, unit to stop sensing that something's binding up so you see your micro switch and that gets clicked so since they're in parallel um, if one gets triggered that won't interrupt the circuit but if both of them get triggered at the same time senses the bind and that stops it so we're going to go ahead and run the cable out now and I'm going to show you how the interruption works. Go ahead. So right there I have both triggered. I'll release this one and you'll see it'll work. 